Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. We're here at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm thrilled to be joined by Dr. Stephen Bowling, who is the director of the Mitral Valve Clinic at the University of Michigan. And Dr. Bowling and I were just having a conversation about technology. And the patients are hearing a lot about TAVI, transcatheter aortic valve implantation. And they're wondering, what about the mitral valve? Because TAVI is all about the aortic valve. Are there any catheter-based solutions for mitral valve surgery? Well, Adam, thanks for having me here to talk with you. And that's a very interesting question. Is there going to be a future, a soon future, for mitral valve percutaneous devices? As you know, the aortic valve is really just a door. And when we surgically replace the aortic valve, we put in a new door. So we learn how to do that percutaneously. But the mitral valve is really not just a valve, but it's an apparatus. It's very complex. And at surgery, when we repair the valve, which of course is our aim for all patients to repair it, we do one of 27 things maybe to fix that valve. Wow. So the complexities behind fixing a mitral valve are far more than how we approach the aortic valve. So it's not surprising that mitral valve percutaneous technology is lagging far behind aortic percutaneous technology. Got it. And so in terms of the percutaneous, we're hearing some uh, companies and some technologies, two that I've heard of are the Mitra Clip. I've heard of Mitra Align. Can you share about where those technologies are right now and where they may be going in the future? So right now, Adam, there really only is one that's used clinically. That's the Mitral Clip device, which uh, imitates a surgical technique called the Alfieri Stitch which really binds the two leaflets together. That is one of, as I said, numerous surgical techniques that we use, but it is being used clinically, mm -hmm. and I think it will become a tool for a certain group of patients. In the pipeline, there are many other different mitral percutaneous techniques for repair that are going to come up, each one of them sort of mimicking something we do in surgery to do a repair, but these are going to take a long time to get where we want them to be. Got it. And then again, I guess the big question is, in terms of mitral valve replacement percutaneously, that sounds like it's a ways away in terms of time for clinical use. Adam, you're right. Mitral valve replacement in a percutaneous manner is many years in the future. The complexity of landing a valve in the mitral position by a catheter is very difficult. If you had asked me which one would go first, I would tell you aortic first, and TAVI has happened, mm -hmm. mitral valve 20 years from now. So Dr. Bowling, thanks so much for taking the time to meet with us today, share all of this information, specific to percutaneous mitral valve surgery, and on behalf of all your patients, and many of them have come to our website, those being Jeff Adams, David DeBay, and Elizabeth Knowlton, for example, I want to thank you for really fixing them. So thanks for all you're doing. Really